just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome to this edition of Your High School Sports. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, along with Chris Reddick and Chris Blevins. It's signing day 2017, guys, and what an exciting day. I know you guys have went through the process, but that's what leads us up to the Ball Corporation question of the week is, how much pressure is signing day? I mean, there's a lot of pressure, Roddy. I mean, these kids today, I mean, it is a it is a huge day. I mean, it's going to change somebody's life forever. But like, you know, we were talking a little bit before. I mean, it's also a day for kids that are kind of on the borderline or, you know, kids like me uh, want to go somewhere that always don't get those calls. So you're kind of you're kind of like kind of getting down, but you also got to be able to stand right back up because you got to go walk on. You also got to be called on schools. Uh, but, you know, Pressure-wise, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, you think about T. Higgins and Amari Rogers going to Clemson. They come off a national championship. Oh, yeah. uh, they got a lot to prove coming up here pretty mm-hmm. soon, and I really believe that they're going to do a great job, and they're probably going to get on the field and see some time on a, you know, a champion national championship oh, team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the pressure is very high there. Or you have kids that are going, you know, to the ETSU's and to the, uh, you know, these different schools that we're going to talk about today. Carson Newman's, Austin Peay's. I mean, those are still wonderful schools uh, and things that you know you never get back to. It's a, it's a big day, and it is a lot of pressure. But at the same time, it's a wonderful day for kids, and I think they're doing a great job. At all these schools are really promoting it and uh, making it a big deal and uh i think going forward uh and this season we're looking at we're going to be seeing a lot more kids emerging yeah. again so yeah, we'll go yeah, forward but yeah. today's all about signing day and the kids are happening today so but the pressure is high but at the same time it's an awesome day oh yeah today is a very big day for a lot of kids and like we were talking about it's a day of somewhat confusion and uncertainty mm-hmm. and that can evolve in a lot of different ways either from uh being like we talked about borderline kids which i was kind of a borderline kid what i mean by borderline kid is depending on where you kind of see yourself playing uh regardless if it is on the division one level on a smaller school level i was kind of the in-betweener so i was looking to want to go division one but i had a lot of the smaller schools that were Mm -hmm. you know wanting me but i had the idea if i'm gonna play football the next level i want to play where it's it's some competition in other words i want to see where i am you know, right. uh, I know some kids just have the heart to say, I just want to play. I don't care what school it is, but I just want I want it personally. And that's what the thing about mm-hmm. signing they do. You got to personally know where you stand in this whole aspect because you definitely will kind of find out when that day happens. But I want to point something out with that being said. Uh, no matter where you stand, if you're on the celebration side of signing where you want to go or on the side to where maybe you're signing where you may not really want to go or on the side to where you didn't sign anywhere at all. I want to point this out. This is from Cecil Shorts. The third, he plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he knows how important this day is. And he also knows the side because he was on below the borderline side to where, check this out. He said, he tweeted it, zero stars, meaning he had no star ranking. Zero scholarship offers. Went to Division three school, but seven years in the NFL and counting. If you don't sign today, stay encouraged. Mm-hmm. See, that means a lot because uh, a little backstory on Cecil is uh, <laughs> you don't think uh, he had it tough. Guess what? He played for his father. So <laughs> guess what? A coach has a great, a great ability to talk you up. So do you not think that his father was talking him up? But guess what? It happens like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you may, it may be just the program you're in where you're maybe a good player but not in the right program to where you really get to look. It may be location. There's a lot mm-hmm. of things there. But right. here's what I always tell kids. If you've got the heart. Don't matter where you go, you will be discovered. It don't matter if it's Division Three, NAI, whatever. Once you get on that field and you prove yourself, guess what? You got four years. Bodies can change, speed can change, attitudes can change, but you got to have the heart to play. So yeah, well, and like you said about stars, real quick. Stars don't measure intangibles. Yeah, they exactly. only measure your production on the field, exactly. how much you were highlighted during your season or your career, or your exactly. thing. So those stars are big for schools because it makes it easier for them to go and look. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like you were saying, people grow, get bigger, they, they work harder, however. And just like you know, Cecil there, I mean, that's a great example of how – Recruiting is a big deal, but you can go anywhere and still get where you want to go if you put in the time, work, and effort. Yeah, and we talk exactly, about that a lot. Exactly. So you gotta be, you gotta be hungry because guess what? Even those guys that are assigned the big time scholarship, you still gotta be hungry because you still right. got a lot to prove. So it, it's an exciting time of year to see how these players develop. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love signing day. But guys, 
let's talk about across the nation around the region chris you got some stuff that some some locals that that are going across the region right. talk a little bit about those those players yeah so we'll just go on the list here real quick i mean i'm just going to do east and west real quick and i uh, appreciate everybody that uh you know and congrats to all them but i appreciate everything i got from these kids here but uh for morristown west we had elijah brown uh, go with austin p uh he's an outside linebacker 6'3, 235 uh again i don't know exactly how these schools are going to use these kids yet we're going to find about that next week's show and some more information on that uh we also got bryson blevins going to etsu which i think is outstanding etsu has done great today and again we'll find out the total numbers at the end uh but he's 6'4, 345 defensive tackle and then we got isaiah simmons also from west uh chose carson newman wide receiver 6'3, 195 so uh that's three big schools from for morristown west to go and uh i really believe that might be one of the better signing class they've had in a little bit that's, that's some big time schools um then going out of East, uh, Dylan No, the quarterback there at East that we all know about, uh, got hurt there his junior year there, uh, had a pretty good uh, senior season. Again, quarterback 6'1", 200, going to ETSU. Uh, again, we don't know how he's going to be used again. We'll find out more from Coach Wells and uh, get some more information from Dylan as we go forward. Then we also have Sean Lindsay, a uh, defensive tackle and a tight end for Morristown East. He actually chose Emory and Henry. He's 6'2", 275, um, and definitely congratulations to those kids. I mean, uh, when you think about Morristown East and Morristown West, when you start having that kind of Mm -hmm. talent come through your schools that brings more schools to watch this next year and i mean it really even these kids set the standard for the next few years but just a few other ones that i got uh maryville td blackman's going to air force uh and then we have Dar darvarius harper out of austin east chose coastal carolina which is also a great good school, school yeah. really good yeah. school so there were just a few highlighted players i wanted to share with you i know chris has some more too uh and again we'll share some more information about these guys going forward on next week's show uh about maybe how they're going to get used and what the kind of feel for what they're going to do at the next level is going to be like and I think that's going to be the most important part and I'm sure these kids hopefully have made that kind of went through the process and know what that is like Chris said you kind of know where you stand I was going to mention that too I mean it's so hard to know your wealth or your, how much you're worth, but once you get that known, that's how you much make a better decision, oh, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But that's who I have for uh, kind of locally around the region there, but I know Chris has a few more. Yeah, I uh, just want to take it to Elizabeth. You know, Elizabeth had some outstanding athletes, had a great season, great follow-up season to uh, uh, last year. A uh, little bit closer to getting to the state. We know that one team that kind of blocked them, but yes. hopefully next year we can make that happen. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, the outstanding players, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of say this unofficially now because it's kind of on the hush, but probably by the time you see this, everybody will know where people are going. But uh, three players uh, from uh, Elizabeth, and looks like they're going to be going to ETSU. All three? Wow. Uh, all, yeah, yeah, all three. Looks like they're going there. Like I said, this is unofficially, but uh, we're looking at uh, – Big uh, Johnny Ray would be, and uh, I may get a chance to talk to him during our little halftime right. segment uh, here on the show. <laughs> but uh, Big Johnny Ray would be, oh man, he stands like a mountain there. He uh, great size, uh, big as he wants to be. Let's put it that way. You you notice him on film when you cut it on. <laughs> but I think he'll be a, a nice player to have there at ETSU, and also uh, had a great receiver there, uh, Elizabeth and uh, Mr. Connor Johnson. Uh, you saw any of the highlights I'd cover. I'd say his name a lot, and because he was on the field catching the ball a lot. So he's a receiver, outstanding player there. And then also another favorite that I had covered is Mr. Alex Norwood. Alex Norwood, nice wingspan, played real nice at the defensive end, outside linebacker there position. So I think he could fit well in the mix there at ETSU. But like I said, just a lot of outstanding players, a whole lot more to even talk about. But like I said, it's kind of hard to get it all in and, and to talk about everybody in one show. But it's just good to see that players are able to get the opportunity to keep playing. Yeah, you know, exciting too to see ETSU kind of go out here yeah, locally and bring players match, right man. in here, yeah, yeah. right here from home. I mean, they're, they're starting at the ground level, and I think it's great to see those guys go out and get these people that are right at their back door. Yeah, you know, you so. get to see them again. You yeah. know, he's like, oh, I love that player. I don't have to hopefully try to catch him on TV. I can go right there. To you the go. Game and check him out. <laughs> Speaking of players, I can't wait to next year because I've been talking to Coach Scotty Dice at Hardin Valley. We know how good uh, Aaron was this year. He was actually All KIL chosen last mm -hmm. week. Uh, a player in Greenville mm -hmm. chosen as All KIL sophomore of the year. Who would you think that would well, be? Oh, the quarterback. Quarterback, yeah. <laughs> Chosen by, and that's in Knoxville, so you've got a lot of schools. But talking to we'll, we'll wrap this up right quick, and we're going to come back and talk to Bart. But talking to Scotty, Coach Dykes, he says Aaron is number one person on Torbush's board for next year. 
Okay, so, so, so Coach Torbush, he's, 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 he's looking to, to build the program with a lot of local players. But you know what? Why not? When you got great players, and we talked about just East Tennessee area, this this area has a lot of great players that, you know, sometimes people get overlooked, but it looks like he's not doing it. He's getting them. He's working and on we it. we like to see that. Hmm. All right, guys. When we come back, like I said, Bart Lines is going to join us. He has all the news from Science Hill. And then we're going to talk to Coach Steve Matthews, head coach of the Catholic Fighting Irish. He's got a big player going on to play for the national championship, Clemson Tigers. So we'll talk to them. So make sure you come back to us. We're at Gateway Forward today, live with your high school sports signing day. We'll be right back. The Big and Easy sales event is going on now at Gateway in Greenville. Brand new 16 Ford Fiesta, just $11,990. 16 Ford Focus, just $15,990. 17 Ford Escape, just $19,990. It's big. And it's easy right now at Gateway in Greenville. Online at gatewaydeal.com. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Signing Day 2017 was a very exciting day for several of our Upper East Tennessee athletes. We started the day off at David Crockett High School where offensive lineman Evan Martin signed to continue his college football career at the University of Virginia at Wise. Uh, Evan is a two-year starter for the Pioneers and is projected to be a left tackle at the college level. Had offers from a couple of Division One schools, but chose a smaller setting and a school close to home. I think he'll be a good fit at the University of Virginia at Wise. Next, we have three athletes from Science Hill. Jake Blankenship, our backup quarterback, got an opportunity to sign papers to uh, play football at Emory and Henry College. Uh, he will continue being a quarterback. That's what he's projected to play. And uh, got a bright future, got a big, strong arm, and, and several of you will remember that big touchdown pass he threw to, uh, to uh, Tate Overbay in the uh, back corner of the end zone uh, for the big touchdown as the Science Hill Hilltoppers. Got that big win against the Cyclones this past season. Next we have defensive end, Nakia Smith. Nakia will be attending uh, Eastern Kentucky University and uh, uh, is projected to be a defensive end at the college level. They were in a 4-3 defense. The skill set really, really fits uh, the game plan and the scheme that Eastern Kentucky uses on defense. So uh, should have a good opportunity to come up there and hopefully play a little bit. So uh, uh, good, good signing for Nakia. And last but not least, two-time all-state middle linebacker Bryson Tolley selected Tennessee Tech to continue his education and his college football career. Uh, Tennessee Tech really was impressed with his work ethic and his hard-nosed style of play. Uh, played in the bowl game this past uh, week, the Tennessee-Kentucky All-Star game, and they got the first-hand look at him at practice each day and were really impressed. Uh, Big-time competitor. Uh, high energy, uh, you know, finished his career with over 300 tackles for Science Hill. And again, two time All State performer. So, uh, Bryson Tolley heading to Tennessee Tech to play for the Golden Eagles. The Big and Easy sales event is going on now at Gateway in Greenville. Brand new 16 Ford Fiesta, just 11990 16 Ford Focus, just 15990 17 Ford Escape, just 19990 It's big. And it's easy right now at Gateway in Greenville. Online at gatewaydeal.com.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your high school sports. And it's the halftime part of the show. Like I said, this is signing day. A lot of great athletes all across Northeast Tennessee have been signing to some great colleges, big, small, all around. Great athletes like right beside me, Mr. Johnny Ray Woodby from my high school, Elizabethan. And actually, you're actually going to my college, ETSU. Congratulations. How does it feel to be a buck? Yes, sir. It feels good. Now, talk about a little bit about uh, how special this is to you. I know, you know, this is a always a kid's dream to you know, not just play high school ball, to go to the next level and play college ball. So just talk about how special this is to you. Well, it's pretty special because me and my mom have went on, we've went all over the East Coast going to camps and, and uh, traveling over the summer. So, and ETSU's a team on the rise and they've been doing nothing but progressing and getting better so I mean I feel good I get to stay home with a good team all right now I know some of the people may not be familiar with that process you just talked about that process I'm sure you've got a little sigh of relief at this point you know finally having a school that you want to go to but just talk about that process on how tough it is to make a decision like like this well I mean it's basically the beginning of the future so it's really huge and visiting different schools and just uh, days on days just touring campuses and everything it's it's good to finally make a decision good deal well we're proud of you and i want you to tell me one more thing and that is uh are they going to keep you at the same position and do they look at maybe using you right away um well uh yeah they're keeping me at d-line and uh I'm not sure. I haven't talked too much to coach yet, but uh, I'd like to get I'd like to get right to it. All right. Well, we're excited that you're a Buck, and I'm sure everybody else that came here is proud of you too. So, once again, congratulations and good luck to you at ETSU. We'll be right back with more of your high school sports right after this. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Welcome back to your high school sports special edition. It's signing day here in East Tennessee. And on the line with me now is head coach of the Catholic Fighting Irish, Coach Steve Matthews. Coach, big day at Catholic this, uh, this morning, wasn't it? It was a big day. We had uh, seven, seven young men signed today. And we have one more making up, uh, going to make up his mind in a week or two. And so I'm proud, proud of these guys. And uh, hopefully they'll go on to, to be excellent football players and, and great students. You know, you know when when you when you have them, those kids, and and they've been a great group of kids for you guys at Catholic. You know, how do they when when you see them signing? How does that make you feel as a coach? It makes you feel great. I uh, you know this, I've only been here four years, so this group of freshmen got here when I got here, mm -hmm. and um, and and you know seeing seeing how they've matured both on and off the field is exciting. Uh, you know we take. We took pictures of them when they first got here in, in eighth grade, and or, you know, not coming in as ninth graders, and then uh, just seeing how much they've matured, and uh, and really have, have had a lot of fun on the football field, and uh, and like I said, I think I think a lot of these guys are going to go on to do big things in college. Let me talk to you. I know everybody's kind of chomping at the bit and about Amari Rogers. Amari is going to national champion Clemson. You know, to have a have a player of his caliber on your team. And to go on to Clemson, talk about we, we know what kind of player he was at Catholic. What do you see him doing at Clemson? You know, I think he's going to do great. They, uh, Coach Scott and Coach Sweeney, were both in here uh, last week. And meeting those guys was great, um, but they they were real uh, specific on where they were going to put him in the offense, what they're going to do with with jet sweeps and throwing him screens, and also uh, trying to get him the ball downfield. And so it, it really felt like they had specific plans for him. And I was uh, I was happy to see that. I know Amari was as well. And uh, again, I I think uh, he's got a real shot to contribute right away. And I think the coaches feel the same way. Oh, that would be wonderful for him. And let's talk about the rest of he was he was. You say you had seven. Talk a little bit about him on a quick rundown for him. All the other six. 
We had uh, Chase Kirshen, who was really an outstanding player for us. He, he's going to go to Tulane. He had over 30 offers, but he's a you know 4.0 student and 32 ACT. And, and Tulane, obviously, being a great academic school, he decided to go there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had two go to Birmingham Southern, uh, Tony, Tony Scott and Bo Holland. Uh, John Curvison is a, is another high profile player. He played off his line for us. He uh, he's going to have to go to junior college uh, for two years, but he has a chance to play at a really high level. His brother played for the University of Tennessee. I think a three year starter for there. Chase Cunningham, the quarterback who who had some uh, had some D two and D three offers, is going to walk on at Middle Tennessee State. Okay. And I know. Coach Stockstill is excited about him. You know, I, I used to coach Brent Stockstill at Siegel, and so there's a relationship there. And um, and Jeffrey Wood. Jeffrey Wood is an, an, a really a very good athlete. Okay. He's going to go on to Chattanooga, and I know they're excited about him as well. Well, Coach, you know, uh, exciting day at Catholic High School, and we appreciate you taking a moment of your time to talk to us here on your high school sports. And we wish you all the luck coming up in 2017. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on, and, and uh, hopefully good things to come for you guys as well. All right, Coach. Coach Steve Matthews, head coach of the Catholic Fighting Irish out of Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll be right back here on your high school sports right after this. The Big and Easy Sales Event is going on now at Gateway in Greenville. Brand new 16 Ford Fiesta, just $11,990. 16 Ford Focus, just $15,990. 17 Ford Escape, just $19,990. It's big. And it's easy right now at Gateway in Greenville. Online at gatewaydeal.com. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. Welcome back to this special edition of Your High School Sports coming to you today from Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, home of the Lifetime Warranty. I'd like to thank Kevin and his crew for inviting us back for another year. Yeah. yeah. Great here. I love it here. Yeah. I want to try to stay away from it, but it's, it's really nice. Uh, really, really it's nice. Pulled up for me to get in and drive off. <laughs> Sign and drive. They always got some Signing day, right? Sign, Sign and drive. Day. Sign and drive. <laughs> Sign and drive. <laughs> Guys, uh, we, we heard from Coach Matthews, uh, Catholic High School. We heard from Bart from Sci- what happened at Science Hill. But I want to talk a little bit about how do you lose two key players in your backyard, Butch? You had Amari. And T, go off to Clemson. Well, you, well, let me tell you how you – it's real quick. It's real simple. Get your program up. And I know it takes players like them to get your program up, but, you know, when you're that, that type caliber player, they're going to look at the whole aspect of the whole game. It's not as easy just saying because you're in my backyard and you're UT that, you know, I'm going there. There's right. no guarantee there. So, you know, you got to give Amari – and T some credit as far as just really analyzing the situation. Because it, it is so easy. I mean, I'm sure they were Tennessee mm-hmm. fans growing up to just say, oh, thank God Tennessee wants me. I'm going. Right. 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 But, you know, I'm sure, you know, between parents and coaches, they probably said, let's just wait. Let's look at the thing, look at the whole aspect here and see what really can work best for you. So, um, like we talked about, signing day is not a pretty day. It's, you know, yeah. regardless if you're on the uh, – uh, University level or the uh, student level, it's you know. No, not a I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I really believe that you know Butch is building something for the future. Right. But T and Amari don't want to wait to build anything. Exactly. They're going. Yeah, they're exactly. going to where yeah. it is right now, yeah. and that's very attractive to somebody that is from Tennessee. Like mm-hmm. you just said, it's in your backyard. We they've probably seen it all their life. They're like, well. I play there, I, yeah, I play I play there but but Clemson, I mean, I mean, and Dabo, and uh, just the culture he's created, and just how I'm sure I can just see him now sitting in their houses, talking to their parents, uh-huh. and them. I mean, he has that uh, that ability to talk to kids and sell them what he's offering, and what he's offering is a national championship, uh, the best facilities. I mean, nothing that Tennessee doesn't have except national championship and just that caliber of that exposure you're going to get at Clemson too. I mean, right now the exposure that Clemson's getting is unbelievable. Uh, you can you can you can argue back and forth for going to talk just Tennessee and Clemson. I mean Tennessee and I think Miami have the top players ever to be in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But you know, 
they see what is today. And Clemson today is the top. I mean, they're at the top of the, the pecking order. When somebody comes calling like that, I mean, how can you say no? It, and and saying they can play. Uh, yeah, we heard from Coach, coach there yeah, yeah. talking about that, that. that Amari might even get to play and be in the scheme and, you know, his speed. And I'm sure it's he the same way. I mean, mm -hmm. so those are things that all factor in. And I think that's probably why um, they went with Clemson. Like you said, what a great job for them. I kind of think, why not come to Tennessee? Well, they've analyzed it a lot more than you think about just going yeah, to Sahir. Yeah. They, they know what they're doing. And so. Chris, you hit a key point there. He actually hit that point at the end that I was going to make is the coach sounds like, according to Coach Matthews, he sat and he talked to Amari, and like you said, probably with T2, right. and actually could sketch out how I'm going to use you. Right. Yes. In other words, his story was strong enough to sell Amari on – I mean, he was buying what Coach was saying to say, okay, I can see visually how I can be used in this yes. program and make a difference. So I'm buying into what Coach is feeding me. So all that comes into, you know, it's a buying and selling game and, and everything. So, I mean, you know, it's yeah. – like I said, but it's fun. It's just fun. It, it is fun. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> That's why I let off with the question, how much pressure is it? But when you get a kid like Amari Rogers, and we all know what he can do, we know what T. Higgins can do. When they get to Clemson, you know, like you said, they had to come into that living room and sell mom and dad. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, they're listening. Mom and dad has a big influence. They're listening to. You're going to bring my son into your program. Mm -hmm. Where does he fit at? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. where where do you have him at? You know, it's like I can imagine how signing day was with you two guys, mm -hmm. but like Coach Dykes from from Harden Valley. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been on visits. He's his son's a junior. Yeah. And they've already been to the big schools, North yeah. Carolina, North Carolina yeah. State. Mm -hmm. He's been to West Virginia. Mm -hmm. The things like that, you know, that's pressure mm -hmm. put on a 16 and 17-year-old kid. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of pressure. Uh, like I said, uh, my brother, uh, which we featured him here on the show, he was at a, the higher caliber than I was as far as getting the bigger schools looked mm -hmm. at him. And, uh, you know, he obviously decided to go to Memphis. And, like I said, it's a buy and selling game. You know, it, it really plays a lot when you step on that campus. And yeah. how well they treat you and how well they sell their story, how they can use you in the mm -hmm. program, mm -hmm. and how well they not just sell the story to the kid but to the parents who are there yes. because the parents are going to be more protective than even the kid because they may knock the kids out. Uh, nope. No, no, I don't you're care not what, I'm not buying what they're selling on this. True. You mm -hmm. need to think true. about this. You know, I want you to make your own decision. But So all that, you know, how, how you're treated and, like I said, how well they're able to sell that story <laughs> to you, how yeah. they're going to play you. It, it plays a lot. Well, it's pretty cool, too, just seeing today, even at ESPN, as it goes to the bottom of the screen, seeing T and Amari's yeah, name coming across yeah. the bottom, both saying Clemson together. I mean, uh, it's special, man. It's just really special. I think they're going to do – I think I believe they're going to do really, really good yeah. things. I think you're going to see a lot from them, and I think you heard it from Coach there, mm -hmm. uh, and I think you're going to hear a lot about it going forward. But just, you know, it's, it's still a crazy, wild, exciting day across the nation. And so. it still comes to, like I said, no matter signing or not – when they get on the field, they yes. still got to put. No, it, yeah. Let me tell you that when you step on that field, man, yeah. <laughs> all that treatment, and everything, how they make, hey, it's different. It's like, hey, whistle blows, you can forget all that stuff. But, Let's go. but I guarantee you, but I guarantee you, Dabo told them, hey, you still got to earn your spot here. I, mean, I, I, I guarantee yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. When the whistle blows, you're on the field, man. <laughs> Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Mom, yeah. Dad, Let's go to work. You my boy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to work. So, Next week, guys, join us again next week. We're going to wrap up things with signing day because a lot of schools in our area, ETSU, Carson Newman, Maryville, UT, a lot of schools here, we want to find out where all the local kids went and who was the big winner mm -hmm. besides UT. You know, that's right. national. But we want to know, Tor Bush, is he building a dynasty up there? Mm -hmm. I went by last week. I was in John City. Went by the new stadium. You know, that's something that uh, a oh, kid yeah, can that's go attractive walk to kids. Yeah, yeah. That's so attractive to kids. A lot of things. So next week here on your high school sports, we're back in the studio. We're going to talk about. We're going to wrap up signing day. So for Chris Reddick and Chris Blevins, I'm Roddy Woods, and you've been watching your high school sports signing day. We'll see you next week right here.